Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Holland America cruise experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful new Amsterdam. Now keep in mind when you're ready to book your Holland America cruise, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You take advantage of those interactive deck plans and pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and get that hard travel signature service. Now we're gonna take you through every single spot on this incredible ship today. We've started out in the Lido pool area. This is a focal point for so many reasons. You've got the incredible Magradome right above me. This is a retractable roof. So wherever it is that you're cruising in the world, you can utilize this space. So they're gonna open it up like they have today on a bright sunny day. They'll close it up with inclement weather, but they use this space for so many different things. So of course you've got the pool right in the middle. It's big enough for a lap pool, especially if you utilize it in the morning or later in the evening. And I love that they have seating all the way around. So they've got a shallow entrance where you can sit put your feet in the water and really enjoy your time. There's a couple hot tubs on that side. There's another hot tub over here. You've got a fountain just behind me and wrapped all the way around, you're gonna have these extra comfy loungers. Now on the sides, you're also gonna have dining tables. So in the far corner, you're gonna have the dive in. This is a burger joint. It's absolutely delicious. They upgraded their offerings a couple years ago and we've really, really enjoyed it when sailing with Holland America. Now you can order it in the Navigator app or you can go and pick it up or you can dine up here as well. Now they'll oftentimes have some buffet options or mix or match when they're doing festivals or small celebrations in here. So you also have tables on either side because the Lido Marketplace is just in front and it works as an extension for that. They'll also do pool games around here where maybe they'll do some golf chipping or things along those lines as well. Now on the other corner, you're gonna have the Lido Bar. This is a classic pool bar experience. They're gonna provide drinks and service for this entire area. Or of course you can sit at the bar, belly up and make friends with some of the best bartenders in the entire world. But however you utilize this space, it's a really, really beautiful, diverse space. Now we're gonna check out more of the ship. Now, if you're interested in it, in the Lido pool area, they have a series of cabanas that you can rent by the day or for the week. You can actually do that ahead of time if you'd like. I'd highly recommend that you do. This is part of that retreat experience that they have here on board. So essentially, you'll book the cabana. You can have dining options in here. They'll deliver it. You have drink options they can deliver here. But really, it's about having your own private space. You've got two chairs and a table. Right here, you have a really nice extra comfy day bed that looks out at the beautiful ocean views. They can close this off for privacy, and then you can head over and, of course, utilize the pool, spa, or any of the amenities here on the Lido pool deck. What are you doing up here in Alaska? I thought you were only in Antarctica. Oh, he's still looking for Batman. Keeps messing with him. <laughs> On the very top forward of the ship, you're gonna find the observation deck. It's a massive amount of deck space. Of course, they're gonna put out loungers and chairs based on where you are, where you're sailing to throughout the time. But what I wanted to point out is this is that great place to come up and really enjoy the sun. So if you're looking for a true sun deck, of course, there's one in the very back by the sea view. You have one up here as well. So now we're headed into the crow's nest, which is the very top front of the ship. And it's a multi-use space. So first up, we're at Exploration Central. This is the shore excursion area. So you can see the shore X desk behind me. Now keep in mind, Holland America does long cruises. They do a lot of exotic cruises. They visit all kinds of locations around the world. So it's so important to have a knowledgeable staff and I believe they have the best in the industry. They can guide you through the process. Of course, highly recommend you pre-book your excursions. But when you get on board, they can assist as well. So right here, they have tables set up. It's actually an interactive digital screen where you can learn about the excursions. You can explore the world too. Think of it as a, a bit of a reference or encyclopedia. So there's four of them right here. Now in the space along the wall, they're gonna have different, looks like chess set up with the timer. So have some competitive chess going on here throughout the cruise. You've got a couple portions that are library. So all the reference books are right here on this side. And then as we head around to the other side, I'm gonna show you that they have different kinds of games over here. Now I mentioned earlier, Holland America Cruising is all about a social experience. A lot of the cruises are longer and more in depth. So you can see they have all kinds of different games, puzzles, my all time favorite Trivial Pursuit, game on and just a little bit Taylor. But you can take these and utilize them throughout your stay. 
Now, my favorite place to start the morning is to come up here, get a coffee. I'll take you over to the coffee shop in just a second and take advantage of some of the most incredible views in the entire industry. So all around, they're gonna have seating. You've got these couches, love seats and chairs. They'll use this for different social experiences, get togethers, you know, meetings and things up here, cocktail parties. But what I love is they have all of these recliners sitting in the front, looking out the incredible forward facing views. So you've got the chairs with the ottomans, the tables in between, so you can have coffee coffee service in the morning, cocktail service throughout the day and in the evening. And then right in the middle, they're gonna have these two large navigation screens. It'll tell you about where you're visiting, what's going on. So much about Holland America Cruise is about education. They believe in lifelong learning. They, they really, really dig into some amazing lectures, different stories that are told, history as a history teacher. I really, really appreciate that myself. So as we continue through the space, you can see there's more dining area over here. So you can sit here in the coffee shop area. Then over there, you've got the Explorations Cafe presented by the New York Times. So you can get the newspaper in the morning up here. You can read it and you can get all your favorite coffee drinks. I know so many people start their day at a coffee shop at home. This is exactly what that spot is for. And then also it turns into a full bar in the evening. Now we've got more seating on this side. And then finally, I wanted to take you into a new space that they added when they renovated. So this is a learning center right here. So there's a little bit more library on either side, but this is where they're gonna do different kinds of lectures. They're gonna go in depth into different areas that you're visiting. Maybe they have a specialized presenter, or if you have a group, this is one of those spaces that you can utilize for that as well. You've got the audio visual, the large flat screen TV up here. And then right now they have it set up in lecture style, but they can also do classroom as well. So now we're in the retreat. This is an upgrade option that Holland America offers. Essentially, you rent a cabana. You could do it for the day or for the week. Now, my high recommendation is to get that done before you arrive, because oftentimes they do sell out. Now, this is the common area of the retreat here. Think of it basically as the sun deck. So you have those really comfy loungers here, some day beds. I did want to point out there's a restroom tucked around the corner, so you can utilize this space and that as well. You've got some chairs and tables, couches in the middle, once again, as a social space. And then as we continue along, you've got another day bed, some chairs and loungers. But once again, to take advantage of this space, you do need to reserve a cabana. Now, right now, we're heading into Alaska. So you can imagine some of the views are absolutely incredible, but to have your own private space for the week on the cruise, it's like having your own sun deck. So this is one of the standard cabanas. You've got two really nice comfy loungers. You're gonna have a table and two chairs. They do, of course, have dining service in here for you, as well as drink service. Now let's head right around the corner. I'll take you into another one of the options. So there's only two of these. You're definitely gonna to wanna to reserve them far in advance if you decide to go that route. This is one of the corner family cabanas. So you've got a couple loungers over there, another one here, two chairs. They've got some ottomans. You've got a table in the middle and then a family dining table here. Where we are is right above the main pool area. The Magra Dome is just below where the pool is. You've got the walking deck down there. But what I love about this is that you have incredible views. You can probably imagine going through Glacier Bay, having your own private space here is absolutely phenomenal. On the very top of the ship aft, you're gonna find a full-size sport court. It's actually a really large, large sport court for a ship this size. You've got basketball hoops on either side. They're gonna have soccer or football nets, if you will, that they'll put out. In fact, the crew will come up here and have some pretty awesome games. They also can set up pickleball for you or really any sport you're interested in. Now, growing up with a basketball coach for a dad, we used to always have to come up and shoot free throws any cruise that we were on, including Holland America. Let's see if I still got it. Yeah, coach would be happy. All right, well, as always, let's check and see if the bank's open. Let's see, all right. Well, that looks like the bank's closed. Yeah, it's open now. All right, well, let's finish the tour. Midship on deck 11, you're gonna find Tamarind Restaurant and the Tamarind Bar. So we're gonna start here in the bar. It's that perfect place to start before or after a meal in Tamarind Restaurant but it's also a beautiful space that you can take advantage of no matter where you're dining in the evening. So you can see you have the full bar right here. It'll be set up, of course, a little bit later in the evening. You've got a few chairs and tables. And then as we move along, looking out the big glass windows, you're gonna have these chairs set all the way around. And then you also have these really unique features, kind of large chaise loungers, couches. You can put a couple couples in there where you can sit, relax, and get ready to head over to dinner. Now, once again, it's a really beautiful space. It's all the way up on the top here. It's also a great place to be when you're taking in views in the scenic areas around the world. 
So once again, you have a few more of these little cabana areas that are up here, more chairs and tables that are facing out to the front. Hey, how's it going? Been a while since I've seen you, still looking good. I appreciate that. Well, now let's head into the Tamarind restaurant. So it is a pan-Asian restaurant. It's a wide amalgamation of different cuisines. You're gonna have Chinese, Japanese, Thai, Indian, and then also something that makes me very, very happy is you also have Nami Sushi in here. So it's a sushi bar restaurant, and once again, a pan-Asian restaurant. It's a really large space for a specialty restaurant. So you can see you have booth seating over there on the side. You've got tables and booths along the windows as well. And then you have the exact same thing on the other side. So let me take you through here just a little bit. You can see the different sushi prep stations here where of course it is a sushi bar. They don't have seats at the bar here, but you can have that as part of any of your orders here. Now, as we continue along, you're gonna have more tables. You've got another sushi bar set up. And then on the other side, you're gonna have the same type of seating. So you've got booths if you wanna dine with a larger group. You also have groups for two, four, six, and even tables for eight. Now, one of the things that I love about cruising is the memories that you make. And this ship to me is just a giant memory maker. Each and every time a cruise ship visits a port for the first time, they usually get a plaque. Tucked around the ship, you can find these. This is actually on the top level, just on the aft of the ship here. You can see the first time they visited Tortola, British Virgin Islands. Let's see what else we've got here. You've got Broward County, so there you go. A little bit of Florida, inaugural call Smith Cove, which is where we are right here in Seattle. But you're gonna find a ton of these around the ship because it's been all around the world. So we're now just above the pool area. I wanted to take you up here to show you what this Magra Dome is all about. So it's just open a little bit right now. Because this ship is designed to sail everywhere in the world, they can open it up completely on a bright, sunny, beautiful day. They can also close it up if they need to to keep it temperature controlled. But once again, there's a walking track right around up here. Really, this is just to get that point of view down below. Now, throughout your cruise, there's gonna to be tons of fun activities to do around the pool, on the decks, one of them is cornhole. In fact, I'm training for the, uh, the Cornhole World Series. There we go. Well, one out of two, 50%. Wait, is that still an F? So now we're headed into the Lido market. This is the casual buffet option here on board the New Amsterdam. Now, before we head in, I just wanted to point out on the side here to the left is Canaletto. So Canaletto is the specialty restaurant. It's an Italian restaurant each and every evening here on board. It is an additional cost, but there are some of those packages that include at least one night for no additional. But if you love that specialty experience and you love Italian food, I highly recommend that you check it out. Now, it's important to note that there's two sides of the Lido market right here. So you're gonna have seating all the way to the back. You're also gonna have some seating here in the middle. You've got the booths, the tables for two, four, they can put it together for even more. And you're gonna have different food options on either side. So first off, we're gonna start with distant lands. So right here, they have a really large Asian setup. They'll oftentimes have sushi as well. Food is amazing, guys. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Um, and you can see that they've got right here, so a fruit station in the middle, and then my happy place, Hawaiian pokey and sushi. So they're gonna have a different option or different versions of it each and every day. So as we continue to head further back, once again, on my side, you're gonna have a ton of seating. You've got some beautiful oceanfront seating for you to uh, take advantage of as well. Now, we're coming up on, I think, the most important part of the entire ship. Definitely the most important part of the Lido Market. It's the dessert station. I love it. So you've got ice cream here. It is complimentary. They're also gonna have soft serve for you to choose from. You have a huge amount of cookies. I'll be back to destroy those in just a little bit and then quite a few dessert options right here as well. So I like that they've got it set right in the middle. My mindset is start, dessert, finish dessert, go back and forth a few times, I don't know, who knows. Um, as we continue along, we're gonna find one of the main buffet stations. So you can see they've got it set up for entrees right here. Once again, they're gonna have different options each and every day. It looks like they've got some meatballs, chicken, fish. You've got a huge prime rib right there that I'm about to, oh yeah, I'll be back for you in just a minute. And then as we continue along, you've got more fruit options and the bakery. Now there's a couple more things I wanted to point out. One, this is pretty much the same on the other side. Right here in the middle, you're gonna find the drink station. So these are complimentary drink options. You're gonna have, of course, water. In the morning, they'll have different juices. In the evening, they'll do lemonade, you know, iced tea, things like that, mix and match. You're gonna have hot water and coffee. You have complimentary 
Bigelow teas to choose from. You also have hot chocolate, and then they've got the milk options as well. Now also on the other side here, right now they've got a fruit station set up, but in the morning and in the evening, they'll do some grab and go options here as well. Now another touch that they added to this particular ship and all of the Lido markets is the salad bar. And I love that they've added it on here. So you've got a customizable salad bar right here. So they have several different options that they can recommend like a chicken Caesar, Cobb, Asian sesame salad, or a chopped salad, but you can customize it however you want. They have a ton of different sides and toppings right here. They've got a couple demonstration items right there for you to check out, but you can create your own salad. And for me, creating what you want when you want is something that vacation is all about because if you get exactly what you're looking for, you know you're gonna be happy about it. Now from here, you have two options. Of course, you can spread out. There's a ton of seating all the way around the Lido Market, or you can head right on outside and have a little alfresco dining. Now, one last station I wanted to point out, you've got nachos made to order as you like and Taylor's favorite, the pasta station. So they have three or four different kinds of pasta. They've got some baked ziti. They also have make your own, so you can mix and match the sauces. You've got a ton of different topping options over here. In fact, that roasted garlic is calling my name. But once again, they're gonna customize that and make it specifically to your taste. And then of course, some great bakery items as well. So we're just headed out of the Lido market. Now there's seating on each side. So there's seating in the shade. There's also seating on the aft of the ship. It's a really diverse pool deck back here. But before we head further, I just wanted to point out New York pizza. They have some incredible and delicious pizza options. It is a complimentary feature. Now keep in mind, you can order the pizza in the Navigator app and head over to pick it up right there. But they're gonna have some other assortments in here. It looks like they've got some parfaits, some salads, some different options that you can mix and match. So essentially you can take anything from the Lido market or mix and match it with the pizza shop. Continuing on to the other side, you're gonna have the Sea View Bar. So these bartenders have some of the best views in the business looking out at the Sea View pool and the aft of the ship. It's a full bar. They're gonna provide service for the entire deck back here. So as we head further aft, you can see more of the seating that they have. They have it along both sides and right here in the middle. They're also gonna have the shade umbrellas if you prefer that. Now, right in the middle of the deck, you're gonna find the large Sea View pool. So it's a pretty good sized pool. You can actually swim laps in the morning or the evening. But what I really like is that they've got this bench seating all the way around where you can sit and put your toes in the water. Just up above, you've got some hot tubs, perfect for those colder weather locations like Alaska. Now this deck is used for quite a few different things. So of course you see the dining extension of the Lido Market, the pizza place, but they also use it for different kinds of parties. When we were in Mexico, they had a huge Mexican fiesta out here. They'll do an Alaska theme party out here as well. You can see they have some of the cocktail tables there. Sometimes they'll put up extra loungers and chairs as needed back here, and then they'll put them up and you can have massive dances. But this is a really great angle to see the entire deck. Once again, pool in the middle, showers on the sides, and then you're gonna have seats wrapped all the way around. So now we're getting ready to head into the greenhouse spa and salon. This is the main check-in area. You're going to want to come up here on boarding day. They can answer all your questions. Of course, they can book the spa treatments for you as well. They have a full array of salon and spa options. You can get your wraps, you get massages, of course. You can also do haircuts. And beyond that, they also have a full Medi spa. Let's take you in and show you what it's all about. Now we're just inside the salon area. So you can see that they have the different hair stations. They have a partnership with Keristus in Paris. So they use all of those products. They can do full consultations for you as well. Now keep in mind, they also have a large variety of retail that you can take advantage of those duty-free prices. So you can see the different hair stations, very similar to what they would be at home. They can do different treatments, whether it's coloring, cuts, or just get ready to go out and celebrate one of the gala night evenings. As we continue along, I wanted to point out they do have a full barber shop experience for the gentleman as well. And then over here in the corner, you're gonna have your manicure stations looking out at the incredible ocean views. And they have two pedicure stations as well. I love that they're even big enough for my gigantic feet. Now, generally your spa journey will start right here in the relaxation room. So you'll check in at the front desk. They'll take you over here, fill out a little bit of paperwork so that your therapist can know exactly what you need or anything to make sure that they're aware of. But what this is all about is getting yourself in that Zen mindset. Beautiful, beautiful views out the side. You got these really comfy chairs with the large ottomans. So once again, you start and finish your treatment here. You can get in that mindset to have the best treatment possible. Now, something that I usually take advantage of on my Holland America cruises is a thermal spa pass. So this is something you can purchase for a day or for the whole cruise, but it does sell out. So I recommend that you check it out the first day. So this is one of the main features that you can take advantage of. You see you have this beautiful Thessalotherapy pool here. So they've got the bubble loungers here. They've got those really nice high pressure water features. 
I've used them for my back. You also see right in the middle there, the bubbles as well. But it's an area where you can go sit back and relax. So of course you can take advantage of the pool. They're gonna have some uh, showers as well on the sides. And then on the sides, they're gonna have these really comfy loungers and also chairs. So it's a perfect place to grab a book and relax. But this isn't the only hydrotherapy feature. This is the hydro pool. Let me take you in to see what the rest is all about. So now we're headed into the thermal suite itself. So you see they have these six stone loungers here. They're heated and nice and ergonomic, really comfortable where you can sit, really get that lower back some heat and take in the incredible views. This is even more exceptional in Alaska in those areas where you sail through some beautiful spaces. Now in here, you're gonna find several different options. You're gonna have a dry sauna over in the corner here. And then as we continue along, you're gonna have your wet sauna here, steam room, uh, but it is an aromatherapy. And then as we continue along, you can see you have all those extra comfy towels over there. And then wrap just around the corner, you're gonna have a couple more rainforest showers. So there's two on that side, two over here. And then just in there, you're gonna find the other steam room. So whichever one you'd like, or you can rotate through them. Of course, go back and forth between the pool and the stone loungers. Now we're inside of one of the treatment rooms. They actually have a divider in the middle that can separate this out so they can do a couple's treatment in here for two, or they can shut that off and have it just for one. So you're gonna have all kinds of different options that you can choose from, whether you want one of the bamboo massages, my all-time favorite, the hot stone massages that they have there. You can do combination treatments if you want deep tissue, Swedish. And they also have a wide variety of different seaweed wraps. They have ionotherapy, thermage, that full variety of treatments to choose from. But this is what it's all about, where you can sit back, relax, and make your vacation even more relaxing and enjoyable. Now I mentioned they could do couples treatments as well. So these doors would be shut for a single, but you can see that there's one table here, one over here as well. It's a really romantic and nice way to get to share that experience with your partner. So I wanted to take you just inside to show a couple more options. You see the seaweed wrap options right here. And over there, they're gonna have the dry float bed. So basically think of it as a water bed on steroids. They're gonna utilize that in combination with massage. So now we're just inside the fitness center. It's a really robust fitness center for a ship this size. You can see you have the free weights over here. They've got the balance balls over there and also the exercise balls. They've got the different stair steps because they'll do aerobics right there in the middle. So in the middle, you'll also have the spin bikes. So they'll set that up and they'll do classes. They do quite a few different class options. Now I know I've, I'll mention this throughout the tour, but Holland does a lot of long-term cruising when you combine several together. And I love that you have a fitness center like this because this is one of those areas where you're really gonna wanna utilize it. So you have circuit machines all the way around the side here. You're gonna have your Smith machine over there. And then at the very front, looking out the front of the ship, you're gonna have the treadmills that wrap all the way around. And then on the far side, you're gonna have your ellipticals. There's also stair steppers and bikes. So once again, circuit machines in the middle, aerobics on the far side, and then you're gonna have all of the different heart healthy options here up front. Combines perfect with, well, everything else on the cruise. So now we're just inside the first of the kids club venues. This specifically is for kiddos age three to six. So this would be my daughter's age right now. I love the space, it's beautiful. It's kind of meant to be very colorful and whimsical. You got a paint bucket right here with the seats in the middle. You got all the little arts and craft stations. They have a ton of different games as well. So whether your kid's right brain or left brain, they're gonna have programming throughout the day. They've got a stage right up here where they'll do all kinds of fun little shows and things. You've got the large screen TV where they'll do movies as well. And then you can see they have different kinds of sports, once again, activities throughout the day that are sure to stimulate them and make them basically get a full educational experience as much as a fun experience here on board. So now we're headed into the space dedicated to the seven to 11 year olds. It's quite a bit of space. You got this really cool skateboard ramp right here. You've got TVs over there with bean bags where they can sit and also the bench seats as well. Now, continuing with the theme of New York or New Amsterdam, if you will, you've got a New York City taxi right here in the middle of the kids club. Of course, it's incredibly popular for them. Really just a thing to look at, but I really like that touch. Now, in addition to this, there's quite a few other things to do in this space. Now, they're gonna do games and activities and have programming throughout the entire cruise, but they also have a lot of space dedicated to video games because, well, seven to 11 year olds really like them. 
You've got the large TV over here with the Xbox Connect. It's set up on a stage so they can do different kind of disco style things as well. You've got the rockers here on the ground. And then over here you have more space dedicated to that. So you've got uh, Xbox 360. You also have a Nintendo Wii. I was blown away by the fact that they have a PS5 already. They have several other video game consoles here as well. So they can play with friends by themselves, however it is that they'd like. But I know, as an educator, I was a middle school teacher for 10 years, I know that if every single member of the family is having a great time, then it's gonna be the perfect family vacation for every single member of the family. So now we're inside the loft. This is dedicated to the 12 to 17 year olds. So you can see in the space, it's meant to look like a living room. You've got this nice eclectic furniture over here in the corner. Really, really like these bike wheel tables here. You're gonna have a stage area. Well, really it's more of a chill area right here where you can reconfigure it, sit and lounge as you'd like. You've got the large screen TV with the PS5 up there so you can do all kinds of different interactive games. Now something that they've done with the teens is they've actually incorporated it throughout the ship. So you'll have activities in here, of course, this is more of the lounge hangout area, but they'll also do activities at the pool and all around the ship. There's an air hockey table over in the corner. There's some more video game stations over in the corner. They're gonna bring big games in like Connect Four, do different kinds of tournaments. And I really love that this hot dog stand is actually a music sound system so they can throw parties in here. So now I'm just inside the Neptune Lounge. This space is reserved just for guests who are in Neptune suites and higher. Consider it the extension of your living room. You're going to have a concierge that's going to take care of all kinds of details for you from start to finish. But what this really is all about is a place to escape or a social space. You see they've got the table here, you get some great card games going, maybe some hand and foot, some rummy, whatever it is that you love to play. You can play it with friends or just a couple there. And then as we continue on through the space, you can see all of the really nice plush furniture. As I said, this is meant to be an extension of your living room. It's a nice place to get away, read the newspaper in the morning, have a cup of coffee. So you've got quite a bit of seating through the middle here. Over here, they're gonna have food rotated throughout the day. So they'll have small bites, essentially. It's not really for a full meal, but maybe a continental breakfast. And then over here, you've got fruit set up. And tucked in the corner, you've got Taylor's Happy Place, the espresso machine. So you've got espresso, teas, and then of course, hot chocolate. Now right over here is where the concierge sits. Once again, they're here just to make your experience even better to take care of all of those little details along the way. So now we're on deck three, the promenade deck, and it's something that I really appreciate about this ship is that they do have a full promenade that goes all the way around the ship. So you can walk to the front, loop around, you can go for a nice long walk. Now promenade decks go way back to the early days of cruising and transatlantic ships. It was literally that place where you would go out and promenade around to be seen, put on your Sunday best and really experience it. For me, what it's really about is this. I love these chairs, they're extra comfy. You can look out at the incredible ocean views wherever it is that you're sailing. And I really appreciate that concept of connecting with the sea. And that's really what this deck is all about. So once again, you can sit out, relax, read a book, I've taken a nap or two here as well. Or you can go for a nice long walk. When my daughter was little, this is where I used to take her. I'd strap her onto the baby Bjorn on the front of me and I'd walk her around when she was teething or in the evening if she couldn't sleep. And I just love that, that whole concept of tying it all together with the ocean. So now we're inside the main stage theater. This is where the production shows will take place. So we're up here on the top deck. So the balcony area, of course, you've got an area down below as well. It's all stadium style seating. So it goes up as you go up higher so you can get some great clear views. I also love that they actually have two booths tucked over into the side as well, where you can sit right on the side of the stage. Now, of course, they're gonna do large Broadway style numbers in here, but they're also gonna have other entertainment to supplement it. They're gonna have different comedians, lecturers. They do a really, really phenomenal job with the enrichment, talking about the location and the areas that you're gonna visit, but also just general history. And they always have guest lecturers here on board. Holland is all about that continued lifelong learning experience, whether you wanna learn about food, culture, architecture, art, or nature, they're gonna have that covered here. But once again, just a very beautiful space where you can sit, take in that evening entertainment. So now we're headed aft from the theater. I wanted to point out a few spaces. So you have the Tasman Room. This is a movie theater style setup. They also use it for lectures, movies, different kinds of entertainment. You can also use it for a private group as well. And it sits right in the same area as the conference center. So there's three more conference center rooms. They can be combined into one large one, or they can be opened up and you can basically have individuals as well. So whatever style setting that you're looking for, you can take advantage of that. That classroom style, maybe you're doing a lecture, 
a get together, a sewing group. There's all kinds of different options that you can utilize, but it's really a mix and match space, whatever works for you. And of course we do coordinate large groups and meetings if that's something you're interested in. So now we're gonna head into the heart of the retail. Now keep in mind, it's all duty free. First up, you're gonna have a, basically it's a private collection area where you can check out some of the high-end jewelry options from Effie. Now they've really expanded their partnership with Effie over the last couple years. They have a whole, sh uh, well, there's actually two stores that are dedicated to it in addition to that room. So it's not open yet because we're in port. They're gonna open up as soon as they sail away, which is going to basically allow them to offer it duty free. Now on both sides, you're gonna have quite a bit of retail. This shop, the Voyager shop, you're gonna find Holland America logo, logo gear. You'll find different Alaska type items because the ship's going there now. You also have a wide variety of everything from jewelry to sunglasses. You have bathing suits and things in there as well. Now directly across, once again, I mentioned they have a major partnership with Effie. There's three store areas right here that are all dedicated to that. So if you're looking to take advantage of the duty-free options and get some really nice jewelry, this might be a perfect spot for that. Well, maybe you do well at the casino, you can spoil your partner just a little bit. So continuing along, you have even more high-end retail. This is one of Taylor's favorites. It's Timeless, which is where you're gonna find all the different timepieces and watches. So they have a pretty wide variety, depending on what you're looking for. They got Boulevard and Tussauds, and they've got Citizen, I see. Quite a few different options in there. Now, continuing along to the other side, you have a few more options. So if you wanted to get some perfume, they have a wide variety there. They also have different cosmetics. And I'm told because of the duty-free issue or options here, where so much of those products are taxed, this is a great place to stock up. So now we're headed into the Ocean Bar. So it's a large lounge bar and music area. So they're gonna have a pianist here in the evening. They'll do live music each and every day. You've got a huge dance floor right here in the middle. They'll also use it for different activities throughout the day. So you're gonna have seating on the far side. You also have seats over here all along the windows. Booths where you can gather with friends or tables for two or four. Now you can see the full bar right here in the middle. This is that perfect place to gather before or after dinner. We're actually on the same level as the top deck of the main dining room. Now I wanted to point something out, right in the middle you have the atrium. So there's a beautiful three-story atrium here on board. And one of the things that I wanted to point out was specifically the chandelier. So it's a beautiful chandelier. It's of the New York City uh, skyline. And this particular ship is the New Amsterdam which was another name for New York previously. So this is the ultimate combination of Holland and America. Of course, the Dutch settled the New York area, named, the, named it, of course, and then it was, well, renamed. But right there in the middle, you can see that beautiful chandelier. I see the Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, the Statue of Liberty. But it's also just a beautiful space because it covers three full floors. The atrium goes all the way down to guest services on the bottom. You're gonna have the Pinnacle Bar and Grill on deck two. And then up here on deck three, you can get some fantastic views. Once again, perfect place to gather with friends and family before, after dinner, listen to some music. Now we're headed through the photo gallery. Of course, there's quite a few options throughout your cruise for them to take a picture to create a memory that lasts a lifetime. Whether you're boarding the ship, getting off in one of the ports at dinner, or you choose to have it when they set up the different photo options, you can take advantage of that. Now keep in mind, you can buy a package, you can buy individual ones, and they also have a wide variety of retail. You can get a camera if you need a memory card or something like that as well. But as we head back, you can see what this is about. They'll open these up and they'll have the photos on there for you to peruse and purchase as you like. Now they also have a photo studio, so you can do those photos. Maybe you wanna do a special shoot for a Christmas card or something like that. They can put that together for you as well. So as you're wandering around the New Amsterdam, I highly recommend that you keep your eye out for some of the incredible pieces of art. Now, Holland America has been around for over 150 years. In fact, this is the fourth ship with the, Hol the New Amsterdam name. So once again, when you're wandering around, make sure that you check out the different art pieces because the entire ship is a bit of a museum as well. Now, dining is a central part of what Holland America does so well. We're on the second story of the main dining room right now. They utilize this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's an a la carte restaurant. Keep in mind, they do have the buffet if you prefer to go grab there. And that's also open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can see that the decor in here, it's kind of a throwback to the old school style of cruising. And I love this two-story dining room. You can actually look down to the first story below. They've got some tables that are sitting down in the middle there. You also have the staircase that heads down 
to the lower level. And one of the things with Holland is that you can pick your dining times and you can actually even pick your deck, whether you want the upper deck or the lower. Now keep in mind, if you want that early dining, it usually goes quickest. So booking early on on hardtravel.com and then making sure that you pick the exact dining that you prefer is highly recommended. So breakfast, they're gonna have a wide variety of options. Of course, they've got the classics that you love. Same thing for lunch. And then dinner, they're gonna have the classic options that they have every single day. And then they'll mix and match it throughout your cruise. One of the things that I love about cruising is it's that perfect opportunity to try something new. A lot of people may not order things in a restaurant at home that they're not quite sure about, but because it's all included here, you can try whatever it is that you'd like, and you're probably gonna find some things that you absolutely love. Now I'm getting a little bit nostalgic. The last time I was on board, we had a large group. This part of the dining room was ours. Now just pointing out a little bit more of the decor, they've got the beautiful chandeliers above here. And then once again, you've got the stairway that heads down to the bottom level of the main dining room. Now you're also gonna form a relationship with your waiter and the wait staff. If you do that classic dining where you do the same time every single day, same table, I really love that because they get to know you, they get to know my drink order, and well, my shrimp cocktail's there as soon as I arrive. Now the table settings that you're gonna find are Royal Delftware. So of course that ties back to the Dutch heritage. They've been making incredible pottery and ceramics in Delft since the 1650s. And you'll see that on all Holland America ships. Now we're just inside the digital workshop. This is where they're gonna do all kinds of classroom offerings to learn how to utilize your phones, cameras, things along those lines. So you've got the lecture, lectern up in the front, you've got the TV where they've got all the audio visual, and you've got this classroom style setting. Now this can also be used for groups as well, but it's another place where you can do enrichment and learning. So now we're gonna start heading forward on deck two. We'll start in the Explorer's Lounge. This is just a nice little cocktail lounge area. You've got the beautiful mural in the background. Now this sits just outside of Lincoln Center Stage. So Lincoln Center Stage is the first venue that we're going to encounter on the Music Walk. Holland America completely revolutionized what they did with entertainment by adding the Music Walk to the ships. So you can see as we're in here, you've got couches along the side, really comfortable chairs here in the middle. But what this is all about is classical music. They're gonna have offerings throughout your cruise. My favorite one on the last one was actually playing movie soundtracks with an incredible classic orchestra. So you can have maybe just a pianist, you might have a three or four piece orchestra as well. You've got a beautiful stage up front and the musicians are incredible. In fact, on my last cruise, it was something that completely blew me away and left both of us, my wife and I saying that we wanna come back just for the music. They do an incredible job. So now we're headed through the art gallery. They do art auctions here on board. So if you wanna purchase art, you can. But I love the collection that they always have up for you to peruse. In addition to that, you'll find your port shopping guide here. So this is the person that you wanna meet with if you want advice on where to shop, maybe you wanna buy a certain item. And the other thing too, is if you partner with the Holland America Shopping Program, they're gonna back up whatever you purchase as well. So now we're headed into the Pinnacle Bar. Now this complements the Pinnacle Grill, but of course it's a gathering place, whether you wanna have a cocktail before dinner or after dinner, you've got the full bar service right here. You've got booths in the corner, you've got tables along the windows right here, and then you're gonna have another booth and more chairs. So this is that perfect place maybe to grab a drink before you head into the Pinnacle Grill, or once again, you can gather anytime you'd like. So now we're just inside the Pinnacle Grill. You've got seating along the window if you want that. You also have great seating here looking down at the beautiful three-story atrium. Now this is Holland America's original specialty restaurant. It is an unapologetic steakhouse. They have a fantastic steakhouse menu, delicious cuts of steak. They also have seafood, all of your favorite appetizers, sides. You're gonna find it here on board. In fact, this is my wife and I's favorite restaurant every time we visit. Now this also doubles as a breakfast restaurant for the top suites, and they also convert it into Rudy Sur de Mer, which is a, a seafood pop-up, if you will. So this is a multi-function space, really at the end of the day, it's the primary specialty restaurant on here. It is the steakhouse. You see the beautiful booths like you're gonna have at a steakhouse. You have the tables for two or four as well, but a really delicious option here on board. So now we're inside B.B. King's Blues Club. Now the original is in Memphis. They have several different ones around the US, but they now have them on board Holland America. And I was blown away by our time on our last cruise, specifically in this venue. Now my mom and dad, I grew up on 60s and 70s music, and that's really what the heart of this is about. Of course, you got some jazz, you've got those power ballads, but I was absolutely blown away by how many people were out here dancing and how this filled up every single evening. Now, 
Now they're gonna do three shows on just about every single night. You've got the stage up here with those blues guitars in the background. They're gonna have a full four or five piece band, multiple singers as well. So along the back, you're gonna have booth style seating. You have more booths towards the front as well. And then you also have the chairs along here. Now they use this for other activities as well, but really this is about being BB Kings. It's converted every single evening. And like I said, they do three shows on most nights. You're gonna be blown away by not only the quality of the music, but how much fun everybody's having. Now there's also a bar just in the back, so they'll have bar service throughout. Of course, you can sit at the bar too if you'd prefer. Now another event that they do here during the day is the port to table food demonstration. So this turns into a kitchen and they're gonna do demonstration of cooking, different items that they're gonna prepare. So you can come depending on what you like. They tie it into the areas that they visit. And then they also offer the classics. What I love is they've got the camera that faces down. So wherever it is that you're sitting, you can watch what they're doing up close, but you also can take part of that entertainment. So during the day, this is a food demonstration place. They'll also do lectures. And in the evening, you're gonna be rocking out with BB King and the band. Now when they renovated the ship, they redid quite a few venues. None of them were more transformed or in my mind more beautiful than the gallery bar. So this is a lounge area. Of course, you see all the pictures on the wall tribute to the gallery concept of the venue, but you've got these really comfy couches. It's that perfect social setting to gather before, after dinner, or any time throughout the day. In fact, my wife will sometimes come down here and sew during the day as well. So you've got more of the gallery on the far side. They also have a large screen TV, so it's a great place to be for a sporting event. And then it transitions into the gallery bar area. So this bar functions for the gallery bar and also for the casino. So you can see you'll have the full bar here. You've got the tap set up. They'll open up in a little bit. And then also up here, you're gonna find the poker table. So this is a Texas Hold'em table here right in the middle. And then we're gonna head down the step right there to the main part of the casino. Now, if you like to gamble on vacation, this is the spot for you. So you can see the gallery bar behind me now, and now we're in the casino itself. You've got the Kino games, the multi-use games over there. You're gonna have slots wrapped all the way around, and then right in the middle are the tables. So you're gonna have, of course, quite a few different options for blackjack. You've got uh, World Poker Tour Hold'em. I love to play that ultimate Hold'em game. Three-star poker, all your favorites. You're also gonna have roulette on the far side and craps right here to your left. So you can see from here, you're gonna have more of the machines wrapped all the way around. It's not a massive casino, but it's got every single game that you'd likely want to play. Now the third venue that completes the music walk is Billboard On Board. So right in the middle here, you're gonna have dueling pianos. That's the heart and soul of the Billboard On Board venue. So they're gonna do dueling pianos every single evening. The idea is to do the top 50 hits from the last 50 years. It is a huge hit here on board. Of course, you can make special requests as well. It's also a full bar and lounge. So you've got lounge seating wrapped all the way around. You've got the chairs, tables for two and four. You've got the sofas and love seats. And you can also sit right here at the piano bar as well. Tucked over in the corner, you're gonna have that full bar where they'll provide bar service throughout your stay, or you can sit at the bar as well. Now, during the day, they'll also use this for different events. In fact, they had the veterans event here when we were here on board last time, something that is incredibly special. And I love that Holland America does that on every single cruise to pay tribute to those who fought for us. So now we're on the deck one atrium. This really is the lobby area. So you see you have a lot of comfortable furniture here, perfect place if you're gathering or meeting someone. You've got the future cruise desk over in the corner. Of course, the best place to make your next cruise reservation is right here on board the ship. We know you're gonna be having an incredible time and they have promotions that are only available. Now keep in mind, as soon as you get home, make sure you reach out and we can take care of every single step of the way from there. Now the main purpose of this atrium area is really guest services. So you're gonna find the purser's desk over to my left. So that's the guest services area. Of course, if you have upgraded to Club Orange, there's a separate Club Orange line there. And then as you can see behind me now, you've got more of the lobby area. Once again, this is really more of a passenger services area. Thank you so much for taking your time to join us today on board the beautiful new Amsterdam from Holland America. Now we really hope that you enjoyed this tour. You can see this is a absolutely beautiful ship. So many things to do for every member of the family. It's such an enjoyable way to travel. Now when you're ready to book your next Holland America cruise, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can of course take advantage of those interactive deck plans, pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and get that signature hard travel service. For now, I'm going cruising. <laughs>